Dear Earthmates, today we are visiting Marko Vidojković in Belgrade, uh, Serbia. And um, I've been to Belgrade a few times, uh, but uh, this is the first time we get together, dear Marko Vidojković, thanks to our a friend of ours. Um, you are a fiction writer, um, journalist, uh, political activist, a free thinking, uh, I would say, earthmate, and uh, very fruitful. I have looked at your wonderful CV. You're very productive, creative, and uh, therefore you're in trouble, I think. Thank you, Tariq. First, for inviting me and for this great intro introduction, uh, uh, I, I got myself in trouble. That's that's uh, you're tr you're right because if I stood uh, stood silent uh, all these years, uh, um, maybe I would not be in such uh, uh, inconvenient situation as I am now. Uh, but uh, you know, I uh, attended uh, all the protests against the Slobodan Milosevic regime in the nineties. Uh, I was one of the organizers at the, the Faculty of Law in Belgrade uh, of the protests between 1996, 1998. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, I look upon to, uh, in, these, in those days, I look upon to, uh, you know, public uh, uh, figures who stood up against uh, such a vicious regime uh, as Milosevic was so, when uh, I got myself into a situation to be a public figure uh, in the midst of uh, rising the regime of Alexander Vucic, I immediately stood up against it. This was way back in uh, 12, uh, 13, 2013. So, uh, you know, for almost 10 years, I feel the consequences, but they're uh, getting, you know, worse and worse and worse as years go by. I see. Uh, let's have a look at your literary life. Uh, how did your love uh, uh, for literature begin? Well, you know, as, uh, as, as some there are some writers who knew always, uh, you know, that they will be uh, writers. Uh, but now I, I first had like a nervous breakdown during my uh, uh, studying law in Belgrade, Serbia, of Sloboda Milosevic, and then I. Um, suddenly because started writing and uh, this is how i became uh, a writer uh, but i think that uh, the most uh, important uh, uh, pieces of my fiction are in fact uh, no the novels that are uh, that have a strong uh, socio political component inside them these are these being uh, the clause uh, Kanja in the Serbian, uh, the novel about the uh, the protests against Sloboda Milosevic. Uh, it was published in uh, 2004 and had the, the circulation sales of more than 30,000 uh, thus far. Mm -hmm. And the second one, I, I have several actually books of fiction uh, talking uh, uh, political and uh, being very political or social political. But I think uh, what got me into uh, the trouble most was the uh, novel Jubre in Serbian or Trash in uh, English. So I wrote the trash in, uh, I published the tra trash in 2020. I wrote it uh, as a, a written monument to this regime and to these unfortunate times. Uh, I had an idea that if uh, this book uh, uh, got uh, the circulation sales of like 10 to 15,000, then my monument will be done. At this point, we have almost 25,000 copies sold. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, 
I think that is not, uh, this is not, uh, uh, I cannot, uh, you know, uh, I, I don't have evidence for this, but at the same moment, that was March of 2021, when the circulation got to 20,000, then the regime and the far right terror uh, increased, but, uh, you know, uh, Astronomically, you know, it 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 it, uh, it became uh, really uh, tough to live here, and it be, and it got even worse and worse with the death threats, with death threats every couple of weeks, every week, uh, then daily death threats, and now we have a situation uh, from 2021 that it's uh, the common thing uh, to threat uh, to to to. Uh, uh, send the death threat to Marko Vidojković. And of course, there is uh, uh, not, uh, uh, almost not at all help from the uh, state, uh, having in mind that uh, the threats are coming either from the regime or the organizations or the individuals who are close to the regime. So, uh, you know, uh, I also uh, am a co-host of uh, uh, the good, uh, the Dulles, Dobar Lor Zao, and in English, the Do the Bad and the Evil podcast with Nenad Kulachin, the journalist. This is a very well-known podcast, and we are very, we are satirical, but we are very tough on the regime. We have more than 230 episodes aired. Uh, so far, uh, we invite uh, uh, to, uh, to guests uh, and we have interviews with people who are blacklisted. You know, you cannot see in closed Serbian media those people who cannot hear them and you cannot hear such critic that uh, we can, uh, that we provide in our podcast. I also write a daily column for a daily newspaper, Danas, uh, and I'm, uh, you know, equally tough uh, towards the regime there. So I think all things combined uh, got me into the situation that uh, uh, is, is really, really tough uh, uh, and uh, life-threatening. And uh, uh, I think uh, furthermore, because uh, Alexander Woolen, the ex-Minister uh, of Interior, ex-Minister of Defense, is now Chief of Serbian Secret Service. And he is, uh, you know, a no, he's pretty close to Vladimir Putin, you know? So it's, uh, the life here become uh, very dangerous. I, I, I will now, uh, uh, you know, give you an example. It's, you know, uh, yesterday's example, uh, uh, when Vladimir Radosavljevic, uh, our famous journalist, free journalist, uh, got slaughtered by three uh, dogs uh, oh, oh. in uh, in in uh, in village near uh, Madenovac, where he uh, he has a house there, and uh, you know, three dogs uh, ran out of the yard without leashes and uh, slaughtered him to death. His wife being in the critical condition. Horrible. So uh, you will think this is uh, uh, an unfortunate uh, accident, uh, but when you dig uh, a little bit, uh, you will see that uh, uh, actually the, the owner of the dogs uh, is uh, actually in the jail at the moment, in prison. Uh, his mother's house uh, is uh, uh, the dogs were in, and uh, uh, the woman uh, who is feed, who were feeding the dog who is feeding the dogs is in France. So now we have this situation that uh, we see this as uh, uh, an, an accident, but we fear that it might just not be an accident. You know, just like falling out of the window or yes. you know having a suspicious car accidents and this is why uh, i uh, uh, really uh, started to make some noise here because uh, i think that the noise and uh, uh, stressing out loud what is going on is actually the only thing that uh, can uh, help me or people like me at this situation when Serbia slowly but uh, thoroughly is making a U-turn 
uh, from the West, from the Western democracies back to Sloboda Milosevic's 90s. It's very, uh, no, yes. <clears throat> uh, is 1984 one of your favorite works? <laughs> one of the film favorite books? <laughs> Uh, it's a great book. I have I have uh, uh, books I, I like uh, more actually. Uh, uh, there's there's a saying you know we, we uh, it's okay to read but it's not good to live it. Uh, we live it across the world actually, but you know much more in uh, uh, autocracies uh, and, uh, and and uh, dictatorships like uh, Russia. Or China or Serbia, uh, it's it's uh, pretty pretty dangerous, and I think it's uh, even uh, well. I cannot say it's more dangerous than Stalin's Russia or Stalin's Soviet Union, uh, you know, uh, uh, which uh, 1984 is about actually. But uh, it's, it's it's it is pretty da dangerous. We see people losing their lives. Uh, usually, the people who were some uh, some uh, at one point close to the authorities and then uh, uh, be, started being dissidents, but uh, also the people who uh, 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 also the people who who uh, are you know talking against uh, uh, the government. I was uh, I had been threatened by the same Alexander Vulin to be to get arrested. I should be get I should get arrested, and he was the minister of the interior just for being outspoken. You know, uh, we don't have that uh, uh, here, uh, but uh, actually, uh, uh, at, at, this, at this point, nobody arrested me. For, uh, uh, for for something uh, I, I uh, spoke or I uh, have written, but uh, I feel uh, the campaigns, you know, because all media is uh, in the hands of a regime. So, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, usually the mobile, mobile modus operandi is like this. Uh, they uh, figure out of anything actually, uh, and they make a tabloid campaign, for example, uh, I was a guest in a uh, 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 morning TV show uh, on the day of the first football game of uh, National Serbia's team against Brazil in the World Cup in Qatar. And I uh, invited uh, people uh, to cheer for Brazil because I uh, think that all sports are being kidnapped by Alexander Vucic and his regime in his in this you know uh, millennia old strategy give us the bread give them the bread and the games so uh, Alexander Vucic is really really much uh, uh, you know uh, dug dig uh, dug himself deep into Serbian football so this is why I uh, uh, don't think that uh, people have the same view on the situation in Serbia uh, as I do, because, uh, uh, you know, you need to, uh, by my opinion, you need to uh, uh, boycott every part of the regime. Football representation being the very important part of the regime because it uh, draws the masses. And we have the president who takes pictures uh, with the football uh, in, in the airplane with the football team, who calls the, uh, the national football coach on the phone talking about the tactics against uh, Brazil, or I don't know what. So he's deep inside the football organization of Serbia. And... Uh, the host didn't quite understand my thinking, so I understood my thinking, and she asked, uh, how, how would you uh, cheer for Serbia? And I said, well, uh, let's imagine that we live in Nazi Germany, so Nazi Germany football team plays a game. I would be a German not cheering for, for that team. Uh, and the same afternoon, you have the three identical pieces in three top regime tabloids with title 
the, the tycoon, Pultul tycoon, because of uh, the owner of uh, Dana's uh, uh, daily uh, newspaper. Uh, uh, and uh, never mind, the tycoon Pultul. I'm the tycoon Pultul and uh, low class uh, uh, literature writer, Marco Vidojko, which says, folks, do cheer for Brazil and not for Nazi team for of Serbia. So when you have uh, uh, such an article which depicts you like uh, a national traitor, of course, the campaign starts. It, 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 uh, uh, the game was uh, 8 p.m. The, 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 these uh, articles came out early afternoon and all of a sudden from all the sides, here they come, the death threats, the bullet in the head, the bullet in the head, the cut your throat, bullet in the head, cut your throat, cut your throat, you're a traitor, and so, so on, so on. And this is just the latest, you know, uh, the most recent example. Uh, of of the things this was in the in December you know uh, so uh, uh, after that uh, campaign then the death death threat starts uh, start and when the death threats start you have only one advice you know do not get out and uh, you can imagine how it, how it is uh, for my wife and me because the other advice is. What, uh, uh, you know, uh, what we tell you, we tell uh, uh, to, to your wife to you too. Do not get out. These people are dangerous. They can attack the, uh, the members of your family. They can attack your wife the same as you, they can attack you. Their methods are ruthless. So you guys need to stay put and to stay home. So we uh, stood at home for now more than a year and a half, uh, uh, and this is what uh, actually kills you. You don't, you do not need to be pushed through the window, or maybe uh, you know, uh, got in front of some uh, dogs. It's enough to be at home, not moving, eating, and getting fatter and fatter. And uh, you know, this is what this is the the the. Uh, murder attempt, actually, to me and to my wife. So it is impossible to live in such conditions, uh, actually, at all. Yes, you are in prison. I mean, they have imprisoned you. This is in house arrest. A kind yes. of, and worse than that, because uh, in a legal house arrest, your life is not threatened. It shouldn't be threatened. But this is even worse. And you can, and in legal house arrest, you can, uh, you have a right to have a walk, at least a walk around your house. And uh, when I was in Dutch embassy, uh, talking to the Dutch and uh, 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 Canadian uh, representatives, I counted my uh, uh, walks in 2022. There were seven of them totally. I had seven walks, you know, uh, throughout the whole 2022, because I don't want to uh, go into into details now, but I have the serious death threats throughout the winter and the spring, and I had some health issues during the summer, and in the uh, fall, then the death threats uh, started again. So during the whole 2022, I had seven walks. You know, walks like 20 minute walk. This is what I'm talking about. Not the walk from the car to the, to the grocery store or something like that. So this is what, well, this is actually uh, what is, uh, what is uh, killing. And, and of course, uh, by all means, uh, I cannot describe how is it uh, all to my wife who is not a public figure, who is not interested in politics, who is afraid for uh, my life and for her life also, but for my, uh, almost, she's an artist, she doesn't have anything to do with my job, but she's also, her life is also at stake here. So this is what is the, the, the Serbia is the, uh, the country, this is what uh, uh, Serbia is like right now. For, for the guy like me, for the silent types and for the types who don't uh, actually see what's going on and for the types who don't critique the regime, for them, I think it's okay. Yeah. 
this um, it, it's so sad uh, and uh, yeah it is terrible and in in Turkey uh, the, as you know things are not brilliant either getting worse and worse um, let me uh, ask a few of the questions I usually ask a, a writer, uh, which is, uh, uh, in spite of all the difficulties, of course, you you write. And, um, and uh, is there a specific uh, time of the day you can uh, write, uh, you know, focus on writing like, such as in the morning some people prefer morning some night some any time uh, do you have any preferences yeah well i'm i'm the morning person so when i write uh, i write uh, in the morning and uh, i usually stop by uh, early afternoon but we are talking uh, regular times yes in times yeah. like this in times like this it's very hard to get out of the bed in the morning, you know, uh, uh, and uh, get your strength to do anything and uh, to get an inspiration for writing is, is almost impossible. So I write for a couple of days, then I stop, then I do nothing. Or of course, I write a daily column, but uh, this is uh, this is not uh, uh, fiction. You know, writing fiction is something much uh, deeper. You know, you 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 need to get from the out of this world into your special world, to the world of your novel, and this is impossible when you are in, uh, in prison. This is virtually impossible. Uh, and uh, this is why uh, when you ask me, this is the really sad question for me, because uh, when you ask me when I write, I should say, well, almost never at this point. You know, uh, when uh, the, the times were calmer several months ago, I wrote, yes, as I, as I told you. But, uh, you know, uh, these years combined, uh, I I didn't have uh, uh, two months uh, uh, free for writing. You know, I wrote trash, and the trash was uh, you know a, a, a statement against the regime. This is the part of the fight, you know, because the novel uh, uh, is uh, what stays forever. That's a monument. Uh, my columns are you know they they live for one day. Uh, my podcast lives for a week, but the book lives forever. So this is why I had, uh, you know, uh, uh, more uh, uh, motive to write down the trash so that I, as a writer, uh, give my, uh, do my best as I can to fight this regime and these awful times. So I wrote that somehow. God knows how I wrote it. You know, it was pretty tough. It's a short book, but it took me a hell of a lot of time to write it down. But now I'm writing something else, something different, and it goes much slower, and it goes, and it's pretty, and it's almost impossible to do it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, the the very experience you're going through. I mean. Uh, the the very tough situation you're in this you know memoir whatever because these are also important uh, for other people to learn to have an idea because people uh, tend to neglect news or events uh, they feel uncomfortable with that's uh, you know that's what happened with Holocaust denial or any uh, denial of it uh, of a uh, call, uh, big crime or whatever. Uh, so uh, everything you have said is very important, and everything that you have not said in these extraordinary times is also very important. 
for you, it may not be important. I mean, you may think that, well, I'm under pressure, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, how can, what good would it be to mention this in my writing? But it would mean a lot. Uh, what I mean, I mean, uh, so uh, a diary form, uh, in a diary form, it doesn't have to be fiction or partly. Oh. So yeah, I'm, yes, it, it's, it, it's a psychotherapeutic. Uh, pity I didn't uh, think of it myself, uh, you know, some time ago. Uh, <laughs> but, but thank you course, for for your uh, uh, yes, uh, because have, it's a, it is a warlike situation, and in war diaries are are uh, pretty pretty convenient. You're right. Exactly, and uh, uh, and. Um, Writing has been a part of me, partly at least because it's been therapeutic for me. And um, it's still part of my life. And, uh, and I think that is important experience because what is literature? Actually, it is a way of conveying life experience, whether using a mirror, this kind of, that kind of mirror or not. What is fiction? It is a kind of reality using another type of mirror. Uh, so uh, as long as you write, you are fighting. And uh, uh, they cannot stop you. Nobody, nobody can stop you. And uh, that may uh, be uh, psychologically something positive. It's easier said than said than done. I'm sorry. I'm. I don't want to sound. Uh, you know. I don't know what adjective I should use. But um, simply uh, just write and send it to your friends, like me. Whatever you and. Let's uh, let's uh, communicate more, um, and uh, yes, thanks to technology, now we can do this. Yes, I I, I like to talk uh, more than than to write because this writing would be some sad, boring, and pathetic writing. I'm afraid that I don't like pathetic writing. I I like dynamics, and you see, my life is not dynamic at all. It's uh, you know. Uh, uh, a Groundhog Day movie, you know, every uh, single day being in prison and you and, and you writing like, and and you know there are some really sad things I don't even want to think of more or write about uh, I this this uh, this this uh, uh, situation. I mean, uh, I, I never I wanted. Uh, I never entered this fight. Uh, so should should I write about it? or to become a victim, to become any kind of a hero or a, a fighter or a renowned fighter or anything else. This is purely uh, and entirely my need to, you know, criticize everything that should be criticized. I did so with the previous regime, but the previous regime was democratic. So I didn't suffer such consequences as now. But I didn't stop. I didn't want to. Uh, I try not to be afraid. You know, this is uh, uh, this is the the most important thing. You need to fight. You need to stay put. Whatever comes in your way, you have to fight it. And I don't know. Uh, I'm grateful and I'm glad if somebody learns something from it, or if this, if this inspires is inspires somebody else to do uh, the, the, the same thing or the similar thing as I uh, do, similar things as I do. But really, this is only about, you know, somebody's conscious. And I couldn't live with myself as a public personality if I uh, wasn't like I am. And yes. if I uh, wasn't outspoken, yes, as, as, as I do. So this is this and this is the price I pay. And that's the price I was willing to pay. Well, this is I, I was aware that, that uh, it will be tough. And when it gets tough, 
well, it, it's tough. I see. Thank you so much, dear Marco. And uh, thank you, Tarek. Uh, I usually ask this question uh, towards the end uh, to young Earthmates. What would you recommend? Well, they're so different than us. Uh, there is this generation who is entirely imprisoned inside uh, their cell phones. You know, uh, this is uh, the entire generation uh, who entered the, the, the world that was not, I, I hope, meant to be like this you know, a digitalized prison. They're voluntarily imprisoned in their cell phones in, in a more and more stupid uh, uh, social networking that I really do not... Uh, I, I have actually, you know, it's always surprising to me that there is always some outcast in some high school who reads my books, but like one per high school. But there is one. So that's cool. That's 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 very nice. But the rest of them are I don't know. I I really don't uh, think that uh, I'm the one who is supposed to talk to them. I don't think they will listen. I don't think they will not understand the same as we do not understand them. Uh, I could maybe try to write a book for them. I have some ideas and I uh, I won't jinx it, jinx it, but I will try to address them through a book, you know, uh, even younger generation the, than those that we are addressing right now, right now. We are now, I suppose we are addressing now the people in their early 20s or, you know, even younger people. No, I, I don't think there's anything to say that they are lost generation, unfortunately, but I'm certain of that. You have, in every lost generation, uh, uh, geniuses. After every lost generation, then comes a generation of geniuses. So let's hope that today's kids, people uh, of 15 years and younger, will be the, the ones who will talk to this younger generation that we cannot get to. Thank you so and much. Also. Thank you so much, dear Marko Vidojkovic. We are together. That's also what I usually say at the end. Uh, we are together, we'll be together. And uh, thank you for your eff efforts, your struggle, uh, your wisdom, and uh, my respect to you and your wife and to all the people like you in the world. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tariq, for the invitation for your beautiful show. Thank you. We're together. Peace.